All right, today I'm going to show you how to install the Android SDK on a Mac. So the first thing you want to do is open up your browser, and you're going to want to go to developer.android.com forward slash SDK forward slash index.html. That's the exact link to it. And you'll notice here when it opens up, you have Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. And obviously this is a Mac tutorial, so you'll want to download the Mac version of it, the zip file. And I've already done this, so let me close Chrome. And right here, what you'll get is you'll get a zip file on your Mac. Double tap it, and the folder will open up. Um, you can look at it when you open it up. You have add-ons, platforms, tools. And if you open the tools, you'll notice right here you have the Android file. So in order to install this, what you need to do is you need to open Terminal. So let me close that down. Open Terminal. And let me make this a little bigger. Make it easy to see. All right. So first thing you want to do is let's see the doc, uh, downloads slash Android dash SDK dash Mac OS X forward slash tools. All right, and then this. And then you open this up. Now what you want to do is you're going to want to type in period forward slash Android. And this will actually open up the um, SDK installer. Or the SDK manager, whatever we call it. Now you'll notice it's loading right now. So when it loads, you'll notice it has all the different versions of Android from Android 1.5 all the way to Android 4.0. Um, you've got a couple of the developer tools right here. Um, you can install what you want. I mean, most likely you probably just want to work with the latest version of Android. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically how you get it installed. What you do is you'll tap on it and you will click install however many packages you want to do. I have not done this yet. I saved it for the video. Um, so install what you want to do. You have your uh, SDK tools. You have platform tools. Um, you have the different documentations. You can pick. You got extras. You can tap that and view what's in there. Support package. Um, add mob, add SDK package, etc., etc. You can install what you need. Uh, you might want to install everything, so you have it. Um, that is your choice. You can see I've started to install a few packages on my Mac. This is what it'll look like. Um, I'll continue the video for your next steps and continue watching. And it takes a little while to do it. <clears throat> Alright, so the next step that you'll need to do after you've downloaded the Android the SDK is you're going to do you're going to need to install Eclipse. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your browser and go to eclipse.org and you'll come to the website and you're going to notice right here it's going to say get started now download Eclipse. So you'll click this uh, yellow button and it's going to open up all the different um the different software that you can download. Um, what you're going to want to do, the most basic version, uh, obviously if you're watching this, you're probably a beginner, so you're going to want to install Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and the latest version is Indigo 3.7.1, and you're going to want to, I don't know, depending on which version of OSX you are on, I'm on Lion, so I will download the 64-bit, but you will download whichever is appropriate for your um, version of OS X. So I'm going to download that and it's going to take you to this page and show you a um, mirror site to download it and it'll give you an option or you can uh, pick a different version down here. I'm just going to do with the recommended one. So let me just click that. It's downloading and it looks like it is, this version is 127 megabytes. Uh, it's about a minute. So I will pause this until it um, finishes and I will come back. Okay, now that it has finished downloading, um, you will see I have it in my downloads folder. And you may have downloaded your uh, download may go somewhere else. I do mind a download. Just double tap it. Uh, so it's a uh, tar.gz file. So, mm -hmm. so you're going to 
open up the Eclipse folder, and it's pretty straightforward. You'll just want to double tap the Eclipse icon right here. Just double tap it. I'm going to ask you, do you want to open it? Yes, you do. We'll get a little pop up that'll ask you your workspace launcher, and it's going to ask you where you want to set up your workspace and your workspace. This will be where you actually do your coding. So I'm just going to leave it on the default, which is in my documents on a workspace folder. Let's tap that. Click OK. It's installing, loading. All right, now when it, opens, when it finishes doing this, you are going to see you have some options here. You have an overview, what's new, samples, tutorials, and workbench. Um, to get started with this, I'm just going to show you we're going to jump into workbench. All right, so now that we have this installed, I'm going to, um, our next step in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install the Android developer tools. And this will be the next step um, that you will need to do. All right, so the next step that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to download the Android developer tools. And this is after we've installed Eclipse. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come back to developer.android.com. And you'll want to click the SDK tab here. And you're going to notice right here on the left, um, the same place where we got the um, SDK from, um, you'll come here on the left, you'll see ADT plugin for Eclipse. And the current version is ADT 15.0.1, and that's Android Developer Tool. So you will click that, and you're going to want to scroll down to download in the ADT plugin. And you're going to see a URL right here. You will copy that. And now you're going to want to open Eclipse back up. And you will notice right here, you're going to want to click um, Chrome. And you'll want to click Help. Install new software. And you'll get a little pop-up box right here. And you're going to notice Work With. And it's highlighted, type, or select a site. And you will paste in the URL that you copied. And click Add. And then you can name it. I will just name it Android... DT for developer tool. Let's click OK. And it's going to search. And you'll see right here it found it, developer tools. And you're going to want to install all of those. So just check that. Click Next down here at the bottom. You can leave everything checked like it is. And it is actually installing them. I will pause this until it's finished. All right, so it's asking you to, you know, you can look at, see exactly what it is going to install. Just click Next. You have all the license, Apache license, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and read all that. And it's asking you, you know, to accept the terms. Obviously, you'll want to read those first. I mean, I don't, but, you know, and then you click Finish. Okay, so it is now um, installing the software, which is really quick. Oh, let this finish. One of your install software that contains unsigned content. Blah 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 blah. Click OK. So I'll let that finish and I will pause. Okay, that is finished and installing. And what you want to do is you need to restart Eclipse. So you'll get the little dialog box that will pop up. Click Restart Now. It's finishing. Restarting, copy off the screen a little bit. 27 inch iMac, so my capture area is very large. Pops back up. And you'll get the welcome to Android, configure the SDK. It's asking you where you want to install them, install the latest available version of Android APIs, install yada yada yada. So when you do that, Pause. Okay, so what you want to do is go to this little dialog, the pop-up dialog, just click Next. Send usage statistics to Google. Um, you can if you want, I'm just I'm going to click No for right now. And you'll click Finish, and it's actually installing the Android SDK. Now. Or it's actually installing the... Um, 
repository and you'll see what it done with the Android tool. This is showing you what it's installing. And click that, accept all, and install SDK platform tools. So I will pause this while it's finishing installing and finishes the install process. Okay. So now that I'm now that I've finished installing, you can click the little Android icon with the arrow. Click that. And that's gonna actually show you. This is your Android SDK manager. It'll show you what's installed, what's not installed. You can see that it's linked to it. So now you have successfully installed the Android SDK, you've installed Eclipse, and you've installed the Android developer tools or whatever. So now you are ready to start developing for Android on your Mac. So if you have any questions or have any running any problems, please leave a comment below and I'll try to answer you uh, as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching.